guys, so um, I went to Forever 21 today and I picked up a few things and I thought, you know, I might sort of film a haul for you guys if nothing else to do for the rest of the evening. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm trying not to ramble too much like I usually do in my hauls and that way we can just show you the items and move on. Okay, so the first um, things I bought today were three like slouchy beanies and a neon yellow. Uh, these are $2.80 each. I got a neon yellow, um, a gray $2.80, and a red for $2.80. They're going to be great this winter and fall. I can get so much wear out of these. So, yeah, got these. So, this is what? $7 worth of beanies. Great deal. Next thing I picked up um, jerseys are just a huge trend. That's one of the trends I really love right now is the whole jersey sports luxe type deal. So, I picked up this jersey. What does it say? Real, the 82 number on it. You can wear these with like riding pants or like um, leather shorts, skinnies. You, know, you can do so much with these. Put on with leather joggers. There's a lot you can do with the whole jersey trend. So I picked up this. This was $15 and I got it in a size medium. The next, I got another jersey. This one's really cool. This one was like a knockoff of the Joy Rich one. I don't know. I saw it online for like $150 and I was like, oh my god, I love it, but I don't want to pay $150 for a jersey. Like, for trendy pieces, I don't like to pay a lot of money for because, you know, this doesn't make sense. So, when I picked up this, what, where's the tag? The tag fell off. I think it was $24 or $22 and I got this in a size medium as well. And it's a sequence on the front with the number 84 mesh, or not mesh, but sheer on the back. And this is super cute. To me, it looks like great quality. It's a great alternative to the expensive Joy Rich one. If you guys really like the Joy Rich jersey, this is a great um, dupe version of that. So, got that. Those jerseys are both in the size mediums. The next piece I got was um, this kind of like um, tunic. It's really, really cute. It um, has like the tassel fringe at the bottom. This is kind of an oversized like tea dress. I can put on with like ankle boots or I just ordered like some really cool gladiators. Put on with that. Cause you know, in here in Arizona, the winter doesn't really get hot or cold. So I can just really th wear stuff like this out the winter, throw on a little leather coat or something. So yeah, I picked up this and it was $17.80. I got in a size small. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, next item I got is kind of goofy, but I thought it was cute. Um, it's a hamburger and french fry muscle tea. I don't know, I think it's really, really cute. Like, you know, it's not obviously nothing you're going to keep for forever, but it's just cute to throw on with like disco pants or something and like a leather coat. I got a size medium and this was $14.80. So I got that. Next time I got, I really love it. It looks like like one of those Brandy Melville bras. See like the back, the caged back. So it's a leopard bra. I think it'd look really cute underneath like this fast food top or anything really. But I got this in a size small for $10.80 and I can just get lots of wear out of this. I love the back. The back was like the main selling point for me. If it didn't have that type of back, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But yeah, so this was $10.80. Next thing I bought was these plaid leggings for fall because nothing screams fall like plaid. You know, I'm not going to get buy too much plaid stuff, just a couple pieces here and there. That way I can just, you know, it's just quintessential for fall, I feel. So I got these plaid leggings in a size medium, $10.80. Good deal for some leggings. And I can do a lot with these, like black chunky knit or my cheap Monday splice black tee with it. It's just a lot I can do, so got those. Next item I got was this really beautiful kimono. I was so surprised to see it in there. It's a floral kimono. It's beautifully cut. It looks great on. And I got this for in a size small for $19.80. That's a deal because kimonos online are usually 60 and up. Most of them are usually over $100. So finding a really pretty quality one at Forever 21 for $19, that's a good deal. So picked up that. The next thing is this midi skirt. Um, 
this checkered print and I can just, you know, do a lot with this. I usually don't like... Babe! Can't watch you? No! You're embarrassed? Yeah, I don't like being watched when I'm filming. Okay. <laughs> Let's close it. I'll be out in a minute. Damn it. Alright, so I got this midi skirt. It's checkered. And it's, I usually, like, try to stay away from the midi trend cause, because um, because I just think for my body type it doesn't really work because I have short legs. But I kind of want to try it out and see if I can pull it off. I technically haven't tried it on. I just kind of figured it wouldn't work with my body type. But I picked up this today. And it was $14.80, size small. And I kind of thought it would look cute paired with, like, a jersey to tuck the front end, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I have to experiment with it because I'm kind of not sure about the midi trend for me, but I want to try one without spending a lot of money, so we'll see how I style this in a post coming up. Um, I only have a few more things left, and um, these are... I got some midi rings. I really got these. I have a, a fashion show I'm going to next weekend, and my dress is black with gold hardware. So I picked up some gold um, midi rings from Forever 21, uh, $6.80 and a size 7 ring. So got those. And I got another type of midi rings. This is like silver and I like a darker silver. These were $4.80. So I just love the whole midi ring look. I just like the way it looks. So got those and I got some thin gold loops to go with my dress next weekend for the fashion show event that I'm helping with so yeah we'll see I usually don't like myself in loops but we'll see how it looks so if I don't like it I'll probably end up wearing post or something but yeah these were three dollars and eighty cents my last two pieces are my favorite pieces I think I've ever picked up from Forever 21 um oh my god they're great finds so the, um I got I'm sure you guys all seen the Jeffrey Campbell, I believe it's called the Tripoli boot. They're $258 each online, okay, and I've been wanting to order them for like the last year and a half, but the reviews are so mixed on those shoes. I keep saying like you have to order two sizes down, like that just seems, I don't like ordering shoes when it's too much confusion, too much mixed reviews. So when I went to Forever 21 today and I saw these. Look at that. That is like the freaking exact copy of the Jeffrey Campbell $250 Tripoli shoes. I couldn't believe it. And these were like the, there was like two size eight sitting there. So it's like God set them there for me. Like, ugh. So I got them in black and brown. They're amazing. So these were $42 each. Totally worth the price because the real ones are almost $300 each. And there's too many, too many mixed reviews on them. So... When I saw these, they looked so good on you guys. The quality of these are amazing. Like, if I was a see someone walking in these, I honestly would not be able to tell if, if they were Jeffrey Campbell or knockoffs. But these are probably the best dupes that Forever 21 has ever done. So, I was so in love with them. So, yeah, that's the end of my Forever 21 haul. Um, I have another haul I'm going to be filming later on this week. It's like a collective haul, just from different stores. I'm just waiting on a couple more boxes to come in. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Hope I didn't ramble too much. And yeah, if you have any questions on size or anything, uh, leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Bye guys.